as part of the Desire to Inspire program, which serves the goal to inspire through the marathon. 2014 Boston Marathon winner Meb Kaflesky was greeted loudly as he entered Hopkinton Middle School and at the high school, Meb was greeted with Welcome Meb signs featuring the Hiller H. Meb talked to students about being brought up in East Africa at a time of war, coming to America as a refugee, and what led to his road to becoming the first American Boston Marathon champion in 31 years. Meb encouraged the students to follow their dreams and never give up. You want to do something greater than yourself, you are going to achieve great things and you never know when that day is gonna come. So you do the right thing, keep working hard, and keep doing being yourself. So last year when I came here to Hopkins and getting started for the race, I was excited, it was emotional, it was tough, but you know you're gonna give it the Boston strong, I wanna give a map strong. I came with three goals, to win, even though many people thought I didn't have a chance to win because I was 38 years old. I wanna finish on the podium, plan B. Third plan was to run a personal best. But when you work hard and do the best that you can, only you know what you can do. And I did, not that I only win, but I ran my fastest marathon ever. It's great to be in Hopkinton to be able to share my story of last year, but also my upbringing, how hard work and discipline and commitment can get you through a lot of things. Success does not happen overnight, but if you persistent with it and not give up, great things will happen. And here are the future of our next generation and just tell them, hey, keep on working hard, be the best you can be, and who knows what they're gonna be. You gotta be able to dig deep to do the best that you can. And you look back and he says, am I maintain the gap or the guy is closing on me? You have to do the best that you can because not just for yourself, but for Bostonians, but for America, but for the international. I mean, it's a lifetime, a lifetime of discipline and hard work and consistency that I'll be able to win the victory. You know, it's not for lack of trying. I was third in 2006 and then I was ten, uh, fifth in 2010, but I worked very hard last year just because it was probably going to be my last marathon and what was on, on the line and uh, gave my, my all and I was ready to, to live with a consequence if I get caught. But I just gave them the Boston Strong, Mev Strong, and I came with the victory and uh, personal best. and. Uh, I feel delighted to be the first American in 31 years to do that. Quite an unbelievable achievement. Now you'll be running again uh, this year. You're hoping to beat last year's record? You know, I'm here to do the same goal. I want to be win. I want to be in the podium or run a personal best. If I could do any of those three, I'd be very delighted. And obviously, hey, if I could win it again, that would be huge. The students also got the chance to ask the 2014 Boston Marathon winner questions. Um, what has been your biggest struggle as you've been trying to achieve your goals? You have this internal information what you are capable of doing and not doing. In 2011, I was a Nike athlete for a long time, for 12 years, and at one point it says, you know, you're getting old and they didn't renew the contract. But I never went for the money of, or media. I just worked hard to get that seventh grade PE class that I ran 520 to maximize that potential. So sometimes you get a struggle, but if you work hard and believe in what you want to do, you're gonna you're gonna achieve it. I mean, if I had my you know with other company, I have I would have retired probably in 2012. But I still love it. I still have a good time and I enjoy it. And I'm competitive, Ghana Kai. I want to compete this year. I'll be here on April 20th to hopefully defend my title and then make maybe hopefully make one more Olympic team in 2016. Selectman John Mosier welcomed Meb as an honorary citizen of Hopkinton. Last year was different from years past. It was our chance to show the world that our way of life will not be deterred. Our freedoms will not be intimidated. It called upon us to ensure this race and this town would not shy from adversity. An American who faced potentially career-ending adversity and yet stayed the course became the champion of the Boston Marathon. Your heart and your victory speak to us all. You represented us all. Meb, you are our champion. And now I'd like to present you this proclamation designating you as an honorary citizen of Hopkinton. From the town of Hopkinton, the Board of Selectmen hereby recognizes Mebraham Meb Kefladzi, 2014 Boston Marathon winner 
and first American to win the Boston men's race since 1983 as honorary citizen of the town of Hopkinton, signed under our hand and seal this 17th day of March 2015.